Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another reaction video with IW Rocker. And I was a forklift operator for seven years. I worked at a Chrysler assembly plant for eight years. And that was the majority of what I did. So I've worked with a lot of different forklifts. Very fun, but very dangerous. You know, we're going to watch the color of danger here. Let's go ahead and fire it up. And if you don't know what this is, this was like an old safety video that um, they show snippets of in a lot of places for these really dumb training videos. They, they make them really corny and cheesy, and uh, we always used to laugh about them. Especially being old from 1970, you're going to see some funny stuff in here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, let her play, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna see how legit this is. The color of danger. <laughs> Can't believe this is from 1970. That is 50 years old now. Pretty crazy to think about. Let's start here. There. This guy's they're voice is funny. They're proud of their skill on these machines. Oh yeah. They're proud of their ability to get the job done right. Ain't that right? Good safety records. Most of them. <laughs> Only now and then will you find the exception. Of course. There's always that one guy. The guy or gal. Too busy to read his manual. Learn the rules. <laughs> the know-it-all. The, the I got it, man. <laughs> Red, like blood. Yeah. The color that says, watch it. The color that warns of trouble ahead. See how dramatic this is? <laughs> and whenever that warning is ignored, disaster can strike. Oh! <laughs> that guy's reaction? Oh! Oh, come on. So dramatic. It can strike on the street. I should mention, uh, because, I don't know, this is a different world in 1970. Um, it's not bad, in my opinion. But uh, it is, they do have a little graphic scenes in there. It's not bad. But if you are if you don't like seeing blood or, or gore, you know, it's, it's just a little cringy, some of the scenes they show. So just be warned. Uh, it's not too bad. But they had different standards back then, so... <laughs> I mean, it's all fake, obviously. Wow. That dude wiped out. That is not how you turn a forklift. You want to go slow on turns. Very top heavy. But they realize also that not all hazards can be marked or lighted. Signs can't be everywhere that danger might appear under certain conditions. And so they've learned to think ahead. To sense trouble before it develops. That's right. Way, Always be a step ahead on safety. Color of danger, even when it isn't there. I know he'll explain it, but you always got to think the guy in front of me is going to brake check me. Anyone walking in the shop uh, or the dock area, you know, expect them not to see you. They're going to have the right of way in their head, and unfortunately, you could kill them if you're not careful. So, always got to expect the worst. That's how you got to drive super defensively. But I'm sure the scenarios on here are hilarious. Like this, this guy's speeding. Ahead of this operator are a number of places that good sense would color red for danger. Yeah. Places where the worst might happen if the operator were not alert. Keep your forks down and go slow. <laughs> that acting's so bad. <laughs> That's what happens though. They'll walk right out in front of you. Again, a truck like this will do its job safely, provided it's properly used. But misuse can reduce its built-in margin of safety in many ways. Load a truck beyond its rated capacity and the steering is affected. Yeah, that too. That's a bad feeling. I've done that when I was a rookie. And some expensive casting <laughs> Backed right into it, nice. The careless operator can get himself in trouble. Look at this. Yup. 
forget she has to pass under an overhead obstruction in the form of a temporary seam line. His mask is going to take that right out. I've seen that happen in real life adds up to the at the Chrysler plant. Oh! <laughs> nice job. Nice job, boss. Yeah, yeah, run away. Better run away and go tell somebody. <laughs> Always lower the mast when traveling from one point to another, with or without a load. Yep. Keep the forks low. If visibility is a problem, travel in reverse. Yeah. Most of the time when you have a load, you're going to drive in reverse. They're designed to, to drive in reverse. They're actually easy to drive in reverse. center of gravity. When this happens, it's time to take it easy. Yeah. A clumsy hand on the lift or tilt lever can start a chain reaction that leads to trouble. Oh! <laughs> There's nothing like a little jolt to drive a lesson home. <laughs> Guy got jolted around like a rag doll, man. No suspension on those. Marked hazards are so obvious that anyone should spot them. That guy's driving with that way in the air. I'd put it at this guy has his load way in the air. And he's driving forward with a heavy load. He should be driving in reverse and have it down on the ground almost. Like, come on, dude. Tilt it up. Have it a few inches off the ground. And you're going to go over tracks here. You know, train track looking things. Yeah. All, those are going to rock that thing up and down. You want to go slow. On the and those railroad tracks will produce quite a bump at the speed he's going. I'd say so. He's going too fast. <laughs> nice. Advice about crossing tracks is reduce speed. Going to get a slap in the wrist now, huh? Come an angle instead of head on. It's always condition red on a loading dock. Loose dock. That's where I worked, mostly docks. Loading trucks or unloading. Any of these can cause trouble. An operator who doesn't see the color of danger before he drives into a trailer isn't likely to see it after. Oh man, he didn't load up. Didn't secure it to the dock there, boss. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it, man. It's not a good idea to depend on others to see danger for you. So always check the dock plate and make sure the wheels are chopped before you begin working a truck. Pretty self-explanatory. People who take things for granted are especially apt to miss the color of danger when it flashes. This machine is in the shop to have the brakes repaired, but the mechanic, Harry Swartz, gets called away before he can complete the job. Oh, nice. And he forgets to put a warning tag on the machine. The operator, <laughs> Bob Broward, is there at 9.20. Harry promised him his truck would be ready by nine, so it must be ready. Oh, jeez. to see Harry? Or why, for that matter, take time to inspect the machine? Oh, my God. Didn't even get fixed. Oh, my God. <laughs> Something bad's going to happen. This guy has no brakes. Here's why. <laughs> Holy he crap, he's flying. <laughs> with no brakes. There's a sharp turn at the bottom. It's condition red all the way. Yeah. No brakes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's good. A 12,000 pound truck crash lands <laughs> yard. That's why an operational truck wow. is important, especially when it's been in the shop. I don't know what that dude's forks were doing way in the air either. That's Whether pretty weird. Shop or it's just the experienced operator makes sure his machine is ready to go. Yep, check all the fluids. Got to check, uh, make sure everything's working properly. Duh. They make you do it. They, you have a checklist on the computer. We have computers on them nowadays. A lot of electric uh, forklifts where I was at nowadays too. Some propane, some electric. This breaks. He reports a faulty operation immediately. He doesn't take a chance. Yes, a professional takes pride in his machine and in the way he does his job. 
Reaching up high for that. It's funny because at work, when you're when you're working with forklifts, the new guys, when they have to reach something high like that, you can tell they're always so scared and timid, which is understandable. But it's really easy. I mean, forklift is a skill, but it becomes so easy just like anything else. Like, you reach up there, grab it, no problem. But, man, some guys get so freaked out, and you can tell they're going all slow and all jaggedy with the controls and stuff. It's like, whoa, it's pretty freaky to watch, you know. You got to just be, have, be confident. You got to get it done. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's not good. I never had that happen to me, luckily. Wow. That is a hell of a mess. Yeah. No, no. There, there it is. There it is. Wow. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You don't do that. I'll remember your kindness for a long time. They're acting so bad in this, guys. I'm laughing because it's fake, like, obviously. Oh, there we go. The 70s. This ought to be good. Yeah, yeah. Gonna flirt with the secretary for sure. Oh, dude, the fork's right there. Watch out. Why'd you, why'd you leave those up? Oh, my God. Dude. Great way to cool a beautiful friendship. That's horrible. Why on earth? You never leave your forks in there. There's no reason for that. Just, it takes two seconds to put them down on the ground. Always when you park. That's craziness. Totaled it. I don't know about that, Buster. <laughs> Gotta love that. Gotta love that interaction. Oh, he's in a bad mood now. <laughs> Mouthing off to the boss. Makes it real top heavy. That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe. They basically. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. They basically made these guys. I mean, it's not like they're CGI. I'm pretty sure they just filmed that. Like, that guy had to do a stunt, purposely roll that thing over. That is craziness because, let me tell you, even coordinated, that's got to hurt. You could see him grab on before the crash. If we go right here, he knows what he, yeah, he obviously, for the video, he's crashing that on purpose. But, dude, that, you couldn't pay me enough for that. That's dangerous as hell. Because that thing weighs so much crashing down to the ground. Oh, my God. Craziness. Before you start to drive. Inside a warehouse on a dry surface. There's plenty of traction for turning and braking. But suppose you forget for a moment the possibility that the dock outside may be wet and slippery. I can attest to that. Forklifts have zero traction on any moisture or water at all. Like there would just be a puddle this big and it could make you literally spin out. Like you gotta be careful. Those tires have no no traction on water whatsoever. It's crazy. He's going to slide right in. Oh, <laughs> The stunts they had to film for this, man. This video is crazy, I'm telling you. Look at them hauling that thing out with the crane or something, right? Damn. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it, okay. Must be like a shortened version or something, but you get the point. That is hilarious, guys. What did you think of that? You got to let me know down below. 
Um, any forklift operators or someone that's been in a field like that, definitely comment below and tell me your experiences. Did you have to watch a video like that? We did. We had to watch these when we recertified our forklift license. Uh, I believe it was every two years. And their video was a, you know, custom video for Chrysler. But uh, it had clips from this in there. And this was in the 2010. So, yeah, they still use clips from this movie from 1970, which is pretty funny, I must say. Uh, I used to think it was hilarious. So I was pretty pumped when I found this on YouTube. And I thought, what a great video to react to um, being a forklift driver. For a big part of my life, um, it's pretty funny because a lot of these are so radical and, and the bad acting, it's, it's hilarious. And the comment section's got to be gold on this. Good old days when Joe had all five fingers. Yeah, that's in reference to, uh, I don't know if they showed that clip. Uh, one of these old ones, which we can do another one for sure. Let me know if you want to see more. Uh, they talk about good old, good old finger Joe. Today's most dangerous things in the video when the guy is flirting with the secretary. These days, yeah, that's right. I knew someone would say something about that. That's, that's so 70s. The color of danger is fine, but I prefer to shake hands with danger. That's just me, though. That's funny. Reminds me of Shake Hands with Danger. Yeah, it's a, that's a different one. That's looks like it's over here on the side. I think that's from the 80s. Um, we'll definitely watch that in the future. It's really funny, too. Very similar to this. 801, good thing the bricklayers forgot to mortar those blocks together. Yeah, for sure. Those things just crumbled down to the ground in a mess. They were not, uh, not held together whatsoever. Damn, they even chugged the whole forklift into the water with a guy jumping out of midair. I know. That's what I'm saying. These stunts were outrageous for this video. Like, holy crap, where'd they find people to do this? <laughs> they didn't cut corners back in the day. Got to sink a forklift or two if you're going to make a real man safety video. Yeah, back before Photoshop, they had to actually run it into water to make a point. That's, that is true. I bet this cuts off shore is actually interesting to watch. Yeah, it, it is fun to watch. It, it is insightful, as, as funny as it is. Does watching this make me a certified forklift operator? Well, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, watching this with um, some really easy questionnaire afterward. There you go. Here's your license. i <laughs> see you in two years to do it again. That's amazing. So uh, that's it, guys. What would you think of that? Definitely let me know down below. And uh, show me that you approve by leaving a thumbs up on there. It's free. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, throw a dislike on there if that's really how you feel. Either way, you do what you need to do. And uh, subscribe. We have a lot of awesome automotive reaction stuff news, you name it, off-roading. We got it all here, and I uh, appreciate you watching so much. Thank you for watching IW Rocker, and uh, like always, guys, I'll catch you later.